Hi everyone, this is Andrew from SciChart and to, today I want to give you a video which is previewing SciChart.js which is a JavaScript uh, chart component that we're building at the moment uh, and this is going to use our 3D engine uh, with WebAssembly and WebGL in order to give you real-time big data charts, uh, high performance charts in the web browser. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, we've got a new blog, and uh, this is over at blog.sidechart.com. There's a couple of posts on here, and we've, uh, we're just starting to add new posts to it now. So take a look at this post. This is a SciChart.js preview, uh, which um, shows a real-time ticking stock chart demo. Um, and we talk a little bit about SciChart.js and the reason why we're building it and some of the technologies that we're using, such as uh, WebAssembly, WebGL. And there's a little video here as well. Um, Importantly, we also have a newsletter and if you scroll down on this page and you type in your name into this and you hit submit, uh, then you can sign up to our newsletter and we will email you when there are updates about SciChart.js. We're, we're trying to sort of get the information and the word out there now um, so that when we are ready to ship that, that we'll have um, an audience to ship to. So I wanted to demo uh, a little bit about what we've done to show you how far we've come. Um, SciChart.js is in development now. We're actually developing it in TypeScript, but we will be targeting JavaScript as well. Um, we're building it with a very similar API to uh, how you expect SciChart. So if you're already a SciChart developer, you'll find this API familiar where you create things like Axis and you add them to a SciChart surface, you create uh, renderable series and add these to a side chart surface and you create data series and for interactions such as zooming and panning and tooltips um, then you add chart modifiers. So this is a typical example and if I run this so I'm going to do an npm start and load up a browser And you can see our example app that we've uh, built so far. This is not currently published. Um, this is just an internal one. We have it sort of on local host running on um, NPM. Um, but let me show you some of the features and some of the things that we've built. So starting off, we have a simple line chart. Pretty easy. Uh, we have scatter charts where you specify a shape uh, and then we repeat that for each point. And we have mountain and area charts. Uh, column charts, which are very similar, and candlestick charts. Um, in addition to that, we've already built into SciChart.js the ability to have uh, multiple X and Y axis. So here we've got left, right, top and bottom, and SciChart will support unlimited X and Y axis. Um, this also supports things like zooming and panning. So uh, we've built that kind of functionality in where with a mouse or with a touch uh, device, you can zoom and pan the chart. Um, things like vertical charts, which are often used in, say, the oil and gas industry. We've built this so that you can put an x-axis on the bottom, but you can also put an x-axis on the left and a y-axis on the top. And this essentially rotates the chart, transposing it. Um, there's all kinds of combinations that you can do uh, with side chart, but this, this is sort of just one of them. Um, we've built some basic annotations. Now, SciChart, WPF, iOS, Android, we have this concept of annotations. And the ability to display lines, uh, boxes, arrows, text, markers, custom markers over the chart. So in this demo, we've got simply line and, and box annotation, but also something called the SVG annotation. So we're going to give our, our users the ability to create an annotation um, which is rendered on screen using WebGL, which will make it very, very fast, but also any custom content in HTML or SVG can be placed over the top of the chart and it zooms and pans as well as you zoom and pan. Um, we have a couple of real-time demos, but before I come to that, I'll show you quickly uh, hit testing. So in this example, if I click on the chart, um, we're doing a hit test and you can see that none of these are hit. But if I, if I click on one here, you can see that I've hit uh, the open, high, low, close series. That's actually a candlestick, but you get the idea. So we're building this hit test API uh, and this then allows us to do more complex things such as tooltips. Um, so we've already built a simple rollover modifier, which is one of the modifiers that we um, have uh, created in SciChart that adds a vertical line that follows the mouse as well as tooltips. And it works with multiple series. So if I add extra series or remove series uh, dynamically, 
then we've got these tooltip values here. Um, we're still working on all of this, but we're going to add all sorts of tooltip options to match the sorts of things that you can do, including customization, the ability to customize the content of these tooltips, you know, hover animations, that sort of thing. I mentioned to you real-time demos. So here's one um, that we've made. This is called Ghosted Traces. And in this example, we have 10 series. And I think we have about um, a few hundred points per series or something like that. And then we're cycling through them. Each series has a lower opacity. And when I start this, what you'll see is the series sort of dancing around um, as we're updating the data. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how this looks in the code so you can get an idea of uh, how SciChart performs. So in our ghosted traces example, uh, which is down here, uh, we create a SciChart surface and we add a numeric axis to the X and Y axis. And then we add a, we have an add series function here. So this is adding a fast line and renderable series with 500 points and it's adding it there. But we then add 10 of those series and in a timer, so we have a timer, what we do is we create one new series and we cycle them. And that's how you're getting this uh, effect happening here. So that's the Ghost of Traces example. But what's very interesting is that if I go into here and I change it for, uh, instead of uh, 500 points, let's say I change it for um, 100,000. So that's 100,000 points per sine wave, and there's 10 of them. And I save this and uh, uh, we'll recompile here and just wait for it to start up. So here we go. This is now displaying a million points. Um, oh no, it's not. I've made a mistake there. One second. Ah, I found the mistake. Here we go. So I need to change this as well to 100,000. So 100,000 for the new sine wave and we're, we've got 10 of them. Okay, so now we have a million points. And if I hit start, you'll see this is animating and we're animating 1 million points or 100,000 points with 10 series on a single uh, WebGL uh, based chart, uh, side chart surface. And we're operating at 28 FPS or frames per second. So this is real time and um, high sort of data, high amounts of data, big data. Um, it's written in JavaScript, um, yet it's extremely fast. So that shows you a little bit about the performance of SciChart.js. We've created other examples as well, such as this one is a real-time ticking stock chart example to show you how you could use SciChart.js in uh, a trading uh, type environment. So if I start this off, we're adding new points and we're generating these points, by the way, uh, we're not connected to any data feed, we're just generating them uh, randomly and then ticking them and advancing them uh, using animations as well. So we get a smooth advance. Now, this shows you the sort of potential speed and power of SciChart because if you had a, a trading application, a web-based trading application, and you had lots and lots of charts, and you wanted to ensure that you had the best possible performance, we would be able to give you this because we can render hundreds of thousands or even millions of data points um, using our proprietary technology. Uh, the last example I want to show you is this one. So this is a vital signs demo, and this was actually taken from our mobile control suite. Um, you know, medical charts um, require obviously reliability, high amounts of data, high performance, and accuracy as well. Um, on this example, what we're doing is we're using a single series, but we are engaging a sort of a wraparound and displaying the latest point. So potentially, in theory, you could make medical applications or real-time monitoring applications using SciChart.js. So hopefully that shows you a very quick introduction into SciChart.js. We're building this now um, and we're making very, very good progress. We are aiming to target quarter three or quarter four of this year, so towards the end of this year for a release. And we're aiming to build 2D charts as well as 3D charts. Um, we'll be shipping something uh, as an NPM package um, and making it available for not just vanilla JavaScript applications, but also um, frameworks like React, Vue.js, uh, etc. And we're aiming to support 2D and 3D charts, um, interactions such as zooming, panning, tooltips, legends, uh, annotations, and customizations uh, as well, so that you can create excellent apps. Go to this page and scroll down and sign up to the newsletter. And when we have updates, about SideChart, we will let you know.